Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I've got 32 Bolo items coming your way. These are my bread and butter Bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. We are gonna move through these Bolo items super fast so that you can learn quickly. Um, let me know down in the comments as I'm going through here if you see an item that you would have walked right past because I'm going to guess that there's probably going to be quite a few because I source really cheap and I pick up items that some people would just pass by. All right, let's get started with the first item here. This is not an item that I would have picked up typically, but it came in a thrift store mystery box and I was like, I'm going to try it. So Home Co, I believe, is Vintage Home Interiors. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what I think. I sold these for a best offer of $13.50. The buyer was all in for $21.89, and it actually sold quicker than I expected. Here's what I do to show measurements of my items. I just think it's easier that way to just post a photo. The next item are these Despicable Me minifigures. Um, I pick stuff up like this at garage sales in bulk all the time. Um, I also get them in mystery boxes. This one sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $24.03 with tax and shipping. Avon SpongeBob SquarePants. Got these at a garage sale for $1. Sold them for $15 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage 1974. It's a brooch and it's got like movable hands. Super cute item. I picked a whole bunch, bunch of these up at a thrift store. Um, I paid 50 cents each for them. A lot of them have the fragrance glaze that's inside of them, um, which is pretty much expired. I mean, these are from the 70s. People are more buying it for the nostalgia of the actual pin, not for the stuff inside of it. But those things have been flying out of my store. People love them. I mean, it was a nice surprise. I picked them up thinking, these might do okay. They'll probably be long tail. And they have sold really, really well. This one sold for $11.25 plus shipping. The next item, I picked these up at a garage sale. And it was a bulk lot of vintage Fisher Price little people like this. Um, my cost of goods after I averaged it all out was probably about a buck for this. And you can see here, you know, they're not in great condition. Some of the paint's coming off, but I ended up selling these four for $18.75 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $25.57 on that. Here is another one of those fragrance glaze. Uh, this one is a necklace. This one did not do as well as the brooches. I only got $9.50 for this. The buyer was all in for $14.15. And again, thrift store, 50 cents. Here's another one of those Fisher Price Little People. Um, I looked her up and decided to sell her separately. She came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased on YouTube from Auctions for You. I'll link her down below if you're looking for inventory. I sold her for $10. The buyer was all in for $15.73. This is a, a spoon, like a ladle. I got this at a garage sale for $2. I just thought it was really pretty. It's got the pattern on it. Um, I don't know if it was silver plate or what. I can't remember. 19 or I'm sorry, 1847 Rogers Brothers AI. I think that might be silver plate, but I sold this for $26.25 plus shipping. So even if they're not sterling silver, people are still looking to complete their sets. And if it's a really pretty pattern like this, I will typically pick those up. The next item is this vintage 1992 Scripto erasable pins. These are new old stock vintage. It's got the cool like colors on the front of the packaging. Got this at a garage sale for 25 cents and I sold those for $18.75 plus shipping. This ornament is a Stargazer Lily Fairy Hallmark ornament from 2012. It is retired. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold her for $15 plus shipping. Okay, these hats. Do I recommend that you pick these up? Yes and no. If you are a patient long tail seller and you can get them cheap, I say yes. If you are impatient, want to sell things quick and for big money, no. Um, these take a long time to sell. It definitely takes the right person that's looking for what is on the patch on the front. Um, I sold this one for $18.74 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $28.19. I got this at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. I want to say I picked up maybe 15 to 30 of these. I picked up a bunch most of them are st still listed. I probably sold 10 or so, maybe 15. Um, I, bu I bought a whole bunch. I don't remember the exact numbers. It's And it's been a while ago, probably, probably last summer. So yeah, long tail item for sure. 
and a lot of them are still sitting. This Chuckington Wooden Railway uh, play set, I got this on Facebook Marketplace. It was a, a lot of stuff that I picked up. These This Chuckington brand does pretty good. I sold a bunch of the trains separately that came with it, but I put one train with the railway. This sold for $26.25. The buyer was all in for $50.05 with shipping. My cost of goods on that was about $3. This key, I don't know. I just decided to list it to see if I could sell it. And it sold. Can you believe it? So that would be me in the comments saying I not I would not have listed that item. <laughs> but I sold it for nine bucks. And the buyer was all in for $14.23. And I had about 10 cents in that item. Uh, Play School Heroes Transformers Rescue Bots. These are the little replacement figures that go with the play set. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $18. The buyer was all in for $25.46 for these two guys. And I got these at a thrift store for a quarter. This plush came out of a mystery, uh, sorry, mystery plush lot that I picked up from Donatella Bottolino, her YouTube channel. Actually, I didn't pick it up. This was gifted to me from Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. Um, check out her channel, check out Donatella Bottolino. They are both awesome channels. Donatella Bottolino sells to resellers. Um, she does that with auctions for you. They go back and forth on each other's channels. I will link them down in the description. And Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger is a bolo binder, but she was on Donna's channel one night and she told Donatella Bottolino to send me a $50 plush lot. Um, and it was a $50 free shipping plush lot. And I unboxed that on my channel. You got to definitely check out that video. But this little puppy dog sold super fast. It is a Douglas Cuddle Toy Jack Russell Terrier plush dog. Sold it for a best offer of $16. The buyer was all in for $24.72. And like I said, it sold really quick. I probably could have held out for more, but I was just going for the quick sale. So, Noelle, if you're watching, thank you again for that nice gift. Um, it was super fun doing that video with you. And Donatella Bottolino, this plush lot was awesome. All right. I also sold this Barbie. So, it is like a clone doll. Check this out. Let me show you here. It's just like the, it has no legs. And somebody has turned this into a wedding doll. Um, I picked up a bunch of stuff. This was in a bulk buy. Not something I probably would have purchased on its own. I think this was in the bulk buy. I've got that I paid $3 for it. So I'm pretty sure it was in this Barbie buy I bought. But kind of a weird, different item. It took a long time to sell. I'm actually surprised it sold at all. But it sold for $16. The buyer was all in for $24.70. Let me know, would you have listed that uh, Barbie clone? Let me know in the comments. This little tea set came from a garage sale. It's super, super cute. Um, it's tin. And it's, you know, it's not in great condition. It's really old. I sold this for $18.75. And again, that came from a garage sale for a buck and the buyer paid shipping. This mask came in a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $25. The buyer was all in for $34.51. It is a $19.99 Paper Magic Group Gorilla Ape face mask. Damaged House of Hatton Patriotic Santa. Okay, I have a video where I sourced this, a thrift with me, and I told you guys that I was listing it even though it was a hot mess. Um, I'm telling you, things will still sell broken if people are looking for them. Somebody's probably going to take something and glue that up and it's going to look pretty good by, when they're done with it because, you know, it's cracked along the seams and you can probably just glue that up. But I ended up taking a best offer of $20 on that and the buyer was all in for $28.89 for this broken ornament. I got this at the Goodwill. So it is in that thrift with me video. It was in a bag and I think two of them were broken. I can't remember if the other one sold or not, but um, this actually sold faster than I expected for sure. Ivory soap. If you see this vintage ivory soap, it will sell. I, I did pay up for a little a little for this. I paid uh, $2.25. I think it was 75 cents a bar. And the reason I did that is because I just wanted to list it so I could show you guys that these types of items sell. I sold this for a uh, best offer of $12.50 and the buyer was all in for $20.96 for these three bars of soap. These are 1996 Pro Stamps baseball team. And I got these at, I don't recall, actually, I didn't, I think it was a long tail item before I was actually like really um, 
putting it in my custom SKU, what, what I paid for things and where I got it. But, um, oh, no, I did put it here. Garage sale, 50 cents. I apologize. Sold these for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Nodder bobblehead dog. This came in a thrift store mystery box. I sold this for a best offer of $30 and the buyer was all in for $39.30 for that. This stroller is um, a part of the play school dollhouse that I parted out. It came with a bunch of furniture. So I part out the furniture. I sold this for $12 and the buyer was all in for $18.35. And I will show you guys on the bottom, there is a number. See that M6085? You can put that in your title and that sometimes helps people find your item. I usually do, but it doesn't look like I remembered in this one. Vintage 1999 Concord Liberty Bell Dollhouse Miniature Lighthouse Figures. So these are meant to like go in a dollhouse on like a little shelf. And um, I got these at an estate sale and I sold them uh, for $25 and the buyer paid tax and shipping for that all in $32.20. And I had about a dollar in this. The next item is this Star Wars Galactic Heroes. Um, it's an arena creature. I don't know. It's a toy figure. It was in a mystery box from a thrift store. I had no idea, but I thought it was cool enough to look up. And I'm glad I did because I sold this guy for $12 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $18.09. These stencils I paid a little more probably than I should have for. I paid $6, two bucks each for them. They were long tail, took a while to sell, but I flipped them for $19. The buyer was all in for $35.23. This next item came from the Goodwill bins and I left the bins and I went to a thrift store and I went back to the bins and went through the same picked over bins that I'd already looked through and I found this. And that's just kind of a cool little story that sometimes you just you know, miss it the first time, you know, and this is a bread and butter. Um, $1.79 a pound is what I pay. So this didn't cost me very much. I sold it for $7.50. The buyer was all in for $13.79. It is a Fisher Price Little People Jumbo Chunky Boat from 1974. So this is more for the bigger Fisher Price um, Little People. This vintage Siamese cat is super cool. I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents, flipped it for 50, I'm sorry, flipped it for $25 plus shipping. Uh, the buyer was all in for $32.70 on that. Cute little thing. Playmates Half Shell Heroes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure. Got this at the Goodwill for a buck and I sold it for $12 and the buyer was all in for $18.63. He's not very big, just a little guy. This vintage Barbie. Uh, this is a General Mills Barbie. This is more of a harder to sell item. If I remember correctly, this went internationally. Um, let's see. I didn't write it down. I think this one went for full asking price internationally for $25.89 plus shipping. This little Kinner Baby Buddies. This came out of a mystery toy box that I got from Auctions for You. I sold this for $20.72 plus shipping. This other one is a different style, but it is also a Kinner Baby Buddies. Definitely look for these. They do really well. I can't remember where I got this one. I sold it for $19.24 plus shipping. There's probably just in a toy bundle. This one's really cool. If you guys don't know about Anna Lee, some of the Anna Lee dolls can do pretty well. This is a brooch. I've never seen a brooch before. This was in a mystery box that um, I got from a thrift store. I ended up taking a best offer of $20 on this and the buyer was all in for $27.39. I think I still have one of those left for sale in my store. So my eBay store and the other places that I sell are linked down below. I start my items on eBay and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark, sometimes Etsy, sometimes Facebook, but my three main platforms are eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. eBay is my number one. Love eBay. But getting your um, different eyes on your items, I definitely recommend that. So if you're interested in learning how to cross post, I have a link down in the description. I do use List Perfectly. I can cross post in bulk. So I can take 20 30, 40 items from eBay over to those other platforms really quickly. Um, again, I use List Perfectly. There's a link below. If you watch the video and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That will get you 30% off your first month. There's also other links down there for things that I use, like Worth Point and stuff like that, if you want to check it out. Um, I'll link some other videos in the comments and there's also going to be some videos popping up here and a subscribe and video down here. So click on one of those and join me in another video. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share and 
Thanks for watching.